Welcome to the living word of God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10 to 15, Paul admonishes and writes about a believer who is married. In verse 10, he writes, Now to the married I command, yet not I but the Lord, a wife is not to depart from her husband, or, nor a husband from a wife. Brothers and sisters, how many marriages have we seen? They get married and then they leave separate because of profession, because they have to earn money. But I tell you, the Bible promotes and encourages us. Once you get married, do not stay separate. Stay together as husband and wife. But even if she does depart, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband. And a husband is not to divorce his wife. Brothers and sisters, the Bible never encourages and promotes divorce. Divorce is not an option, brothers and sisters. Yes, the Bible says you can divorce because of unfaithfulness. But why should a husband and a wife be unfaithful if they are in love? Love is the center of a relationship. If you love each other, you cannot be unfaithful. And that is why do not be separated. Stay together. Brothers and sisters, and Paul writes here in verse 12, But to the rest I and not the Lord say, If any brother has a wife who does not believe, and she is willing to live with him, let him not divorce her. And a woman who has a husband who does not believe, if he is willing to live with her, let he, her not divorce him. Oh, brothers and sisters, sometimes we think that marriage, getting married, is ultimate. It's everything. Sometimes I have seen many people would give up the truth just for the sake of getting married. Why? But if the man that you are or the woman that you are desiring to get married is willing to live with you without letting you sacrifice the truth as per the word of God, Paul says that's okay. Because ultimately you need to witness and win the soul of your husband or wife who does not believe. Brothers and sisters, remember, if you are married, stay together. Amen.